Hello everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In today's episode, well, we were going to work on that, but I think I'll work on this instead. There's the next story mode car in it. Looks really, really bad. <laughs> okay, what happened to this thing? Hello, it's me again. My wife lost control of the car whilst driving on a wet road. Fortunately, she didn't hit anything. It makes me wonder if there was something wrong with the steering as I can feel the car pulling to one side and sometimes I can hear some strange noises coming from the front wheels. See if you can fix it as I don't, I don't want to deal with those used car dealers anymore. I can't afford a new car just yet. Yeah, it's that guy again. The one who keeps buying duds. I mean, what you do is you get the mechanic to look at it before you buy. Which uh, is something that even most general idiot should know. Um, let's see, what will I do? I think I will... No, not click on that. Oh, no, you have to have the car up. Alright. I'll get to it later. Um, let's see, body parts. So M3 and... Fenders, bumper, headlights, hood. And... Windows. Right, I suppose I should get those. I'll see you in a moment. Right, I think that's the lot. And actually, I just realised I forgot what I was going to do before I started. Um, let's turn on the keyboard control that allows me to act, use the keyboard as a mouse button, which makes this game a little bit more convenient. And seriously, I do miss the days of being like F1 for this, F2 for that, F whatever for body assembling and so on. I need to buy one of those, aren't I? Otherwise it's not going to accept it, even though it's not on the list. Right, I think that's the body stuff. Do I have to paint it? No, and then I just have to do an oil change and find out what's wrong with it. <laughs> um, yeah, those brakes don't look pretty, that drive shaft looks awful. Everything to do with the steering, I mean just looking at it is revolting. Okay, um, we shall start with that. Yeah, I think I will, actually before I do anything in here I'm going to run the OBD scanner or something. Because we're going to need to. There's a lot of things to fix, and we got to need to remember exactly what everything is. It's stuffed, and um... okay. So just the ABS. All right. So stuff under about 49% seems to be all right. Uh, okay. Fuel pressure test. Electronic meter. No, we'll just wait for that noise to stop. Um, let's see, what else will we do? And the compression tester. Right, so all of that seems alright. Um, hang on, actually. Maybe I should put it on the test path. And of course I've done the oil change, haven't I? Hope I don't have to pull the engine apart after all of this. Yeah, not that one. So the only thing I really found was that the ABS modules had it. Um, I have to go out of menu, don't I? I am a little bit distracted today because, well, I got a phone call earlier to say that my job application has succeeded, so from Thursday I will actually have a full-time job for the first time in a while. I just don't know when I'm going to record my YouTube videos now. I guess I'll have to do them on the weekend. 
such as life um, is I mean I usually record during the middle of the day when it's nice and quiet but I guess I can't do that anymore Oh, well, those brakes are terrible and ironically I'll be in the car parts business well, tractor and agricultural equipment this time so I'll be the guy who actually does the getting the parts for the vehicle Yeah, that's right, it's just suspension, mostly. Okay, put that back on the lifter. Then we can get along with sorting it out. Um, let's see. They can go all the way up, come on. Wheels. That's probably going to come off. Yeah, that's had it. So it's that. Um, and that. No wonder this thing was like hard to drive. I mean, yes, that was pretty obvious. Uh, okay, that was bad. So it's that. The disc. Yeah, actually what I might go to is, yeah that's bad, thought it would be a good idea and it turns out it was. That's probably going to have to come off, um, okay, that can come off. I also have the stuff up in the engine bay to do. Which I forgot about. Um, let me think. Now I'll do the stuff first. Um, see if I put the car down for later. I'll do that just before I start the reassembly and I think I also might be trying to keep the episodes a bit shorter than I have in the past because I was running low on data the other week. Okay, well that seems to be good, so I can start putting some of that back. Good enough. Good enough. Bad. Although that can go back on, but the other stuff's got to come off, doesn't it? Reminds me I should have a look at that, although I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, all of that's fine. I don't need to change that. Um, yeah, I do. And I don't think I need to change any of that. That one's good. That's good. Good. I do need to take that off. That off because this has had it. And so is that. Right, I guess it's time to head down the back. And let's see what's uh, been stuffed up or down here. Now, now what? I really don't have time for this right now. Just yeah, that's fine. All right, that's that side taken care of. Now let's have a look over here. Stuffed, stuffed. Oh yeah, that's this is going to be a major. Um, also bad. All right. That was something important-ish, but not enough to break a recording for. Um, and I don't know what it has to do with the 
YouTube. No way, I don't think I need to pull that off, do I? No, I don't, that hub's alright. Um, let's check that wheel. Oh, there's that wheel, but actually I can leave that whole thing together. Brilliant! So I pulled them off like an idiot, but alright. I need to place them in. Here's the other side where much of the work is to be done, um, but I do need to take that off. Now we come around here and pretty much everything has to come apart on this side. Is fine. Um, let's see. Enough. That's going to come off. Let's see. That's that. That finally the knuckle housing and that ain't much better. Right. That's all the underbody stuff, so now I'll just drop the thing down sometime today and check the engine bay stuff because I think there was some like that does not look pretty neither does that and I think that's everything on the list uh, no wait there's something else it's not discovered it's powertrain related, probably. Question is, is what? Good, good. I don't think the radiator is bad, but I will try taking it off. No, that's all fine. Alright, so there's some magic broken parts somewhere that I don't know what it is. I didn't think about filters, but I will check it. Yeah, that's the same as everything else. Um, it's probably something utterly obvious that uh, is probably steering me in the face. And it's probably, probably down the back of the car as well. Uh, the better of me. Bit of pushing somewhere. Or is there some secret underbody damage that I don't know of? this. No, that looks alright. Um, I'm at a bit of a loss. Uh, I doubt it's any of these. No, that's not what I want 
Did, um, was hard. This one. Oh, I think I know what it is. That looks manky. Yeah, I found it. Um, it must have been that shock. Let's have a look. Yeah, that spring was rooted. Completely and utterly rooted. Alright. I guess I should be on to the parts store then. I'll see you soon. Right, I think I got everything. Although, we'll find out as I put everything back together. this way I would at least try and sand the I would try and sand all that crud off better check those if all those bushings in the right places because this game gets very picky with some things in story mode missions. Essentially you have to put the good parts where the good parts were supposed to go. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, all right. Um,
Ah, oh, so there's busted rims as well. All right. No oh, filter brake servo. Yeah, oh, I think I have to grab an oil filter, don't I? I forgot that altogether. All right now, which one of these wheels is bad? seem to be all right so I have no idea I'll just stick them on and figure it out from there but first I'm gonna go down this list and oh, I just think I know what's wrong I just need to buy another pair of even though these two bushings are perfectly serviceable In some ways it's easier just to simply replace all of the bushings, even the ones that don't need to be replaced. Right, hang on. Yeah, that's all fine. Right, let's see if that fixes everything. Um, okay, i got a thing around here, haven't I? This is taking a, long, a lot longer than I thought it would. Either that or I'm just playing not with it today. Or it's just a story mode mission and I'm just having it. off and leave me in peace. Okay. So all of that stuff up the front needs to be done as well. I haven't had this much trouble with one for quite a while, although admittedly I don't do as many story missions as I used to because you generally have to do a lot of normal ones first. Alright. And let's see. Whatever. And let's see. I'm going to be glad to see the back of this one. I mean, it's taken, what, 28 minutes to get this far? I think all of that was actual work on the car, just fumbling around trying to find out what was wrong with it. And here was me trying to keep this one short. three things because otherwise that way I couldn't forget it. I've never been able to handle circular click menus. And that one's gonna go as well. Alright. Honestly, um, alright, I better go get another one of those. 
this separate. I'm so over this job. <laughs> Take once. Right, that's everything. Good. Piss off. I'm sick of it. And alright, I think that's everything for today. Sell parts. Condition below or equal to 100%. And we have a case. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, despite how long it was, um, please drop me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.